Um, our today's lecture is devoted to the standardization of network solutions. Uh, the purpose of the lecture is to highlight the issue of using computer networks. And the content of today's lecture is the concept of interface and the protocol. Uh, to exchange data between a computer and a physical device, an external interface is provided in the computer. That is, as a set of wires connecting the computer and the uh, peripheral device, as well as a set of tools for the exchange of information on these wires. And sometimes the term protocol is used instead of the term interface, and we'll talk about these important terms in more detail in today's lecture. Um, examples of interfaces used in computers uh, and the uh, synchronic parallel interface, uh, they are usually for connecting printers and the RS-232 C serial interface through which a mouse, modem, and many other devices are connected. Uh, the interface is implemented on the computer side by a combination of hardware and software. The peripheral device controller and the special program that controls this controller, which is often called the driver of the corresponding peripheral device. On the PD side, uh, which is a uh, peripheral device, uh, the interface is most often implemented by a hardware control device. Also, software controlled peripheral device are also encountered. The program executed by this processor can exchange data using input and output commands with any modules connected to the internal bus of the computer, including the controllers of the PD. And that these devices can receive from the computer both data, such as bytes of information that needs to be printed on paper and the control commands in response to which the PU can perform special actions, such as moving the disk head to, uh, to the desired track or pushing a sheet of paper out of the printer. Uh, so PD controllers receive commands and data from the processor into the internal buffer, which is often called a register of port then perform the necessary transformations of this data and the commands in accordance with formats understood by the PD and issue them to external interface. The distribution of responsibilities between the controller and the PD driver can be different, but usually the controller executes a set of simple commands to control the PD and the driver uses these commands to force the device to perform more complex actions according to some algorithm. For example, the printer controller can support such basic commands as print a character, line feed, carriage return, and etc. The printer driver uses these commands to organize the printing of character strings, splitting a document into pages, and other higher level operations. For the same controller, you can develop different drivers that will control the given control panel in different ways. Some are better, while others are worse, depending on the experience and abilities of the programmers who develop them. Uh, consider the theme of transferring one byte of information from an application program uh, to a PD, uh, the program which are needed to exchange data with the control panel accesses the driver of this device, telling it as a parameter the address of the memory byte has to be transferred. Uh, so, the driver loads the value of this byte into the PD controller buffer, which starts sequentially transmitting bits to the communication line, representing each bit with the corresponding electrical signal. In order for the PD controller device to understand that the transfer of a byte begins before the transmission of the first bit of information, the CP controller generates a start signal of a specific form, and after the transmission of the last information bit, a table signal. The signal synchronizes the transmission of the byte. 
uh, the PV, which is a peripheral device, uses the external interface of the computer not only to receive information, but also to transmit information to the computer. That is, exchange of data via an external return is stated to the computer. Um, as for self-control questions, uh, first question, what is a PD, which is peripheral device? So uh, to answer this question, you have to give the definition of what is PD. The second question, uh, what are the components of PD? So according to the slides that have been presented today and the lecture notes, you have to answer to this question by listing all the components of the PD. As for the third uh, question, what is the network solutions? Uh, also here, you have to provide a list of network solutions and to give a proper definition uh, for network solutions. Fourth question uh, is what types of network technologies do you know according to the lecture notes that have been provided? And the, the final fifth uh, question is what are the applications of network technologies? So the literature is as follows. Um, in today's lecture, we have used uh, three literatures. Uh, so thank you for your attention.